today on Tiny House Big Cooking. I'm using the air fryer, my favorite apparatus in the kitchen. So the filling I used was kind of a mixture of these frozen mixed vegetables found at Walmart and other places, the sweet potato that I cooked in the microwave and then chopped up, and ground beef. I like the sweet and savory mixed together. And so here I'm dicing up the sweet potato after I've already cooked it, like I said, I do it in the microwave about seven minutes. Then here's the seasoning I put on, slap your mama, you guys know I love that stuff. Excuse on my mouth, my jabbering, I was doing like a phone, like a Zoom cooking class with some friends. One of the fun things we do now that, you know, going out leads to COVID more often than not, at least in, in my circle of people. So here is the mixture when it's done. It, I think I even put some raisins in it because I really like that sweet and salty combination. You don't, of course, have to do it that way. These are the empanada discs that I got from Goya. You see how affordable they are at Publix. You can also get them in almost any Spanish supply store. Tear them apart carefully and then you're going to put your filling in the center. Not too much so that you can still fold it over the circle in half when you get it about, yeah, the uh, reasonably full you don't want to put too much because once again you want to close it up right and keep in mind too that as the contents cook it's going to create gases and it may expand and want to kind of explode so there you see me folding it in half and then I use my fork after folding it in half to seal it you could also slightly wet the edges maybe wet your finger then touch the edges that does help the dough stick together but I really had no problem just using the fork on either side going around the half circle to close it up you see I flipped it over and did the same and I did that I have a very small air fryer so I only cook two at a time this is the way they look once I press it all out look at that it could be in a stole look at that and so repeating the process then I used a trick that I saw on one of the YouTube videos I saw about making your own empanadas which included spraying the empanadas once they're in the air fryer pan as you see there I was really excited about that I put it in there and then it, look at that I'm dropping it yeah don't do that don't do that at home but using the spray helps give it that kind of browned look even though you're using air in the air fryer you're not actually frying it but the beauty of the air fryer, once again, is that you're not going to get the greasy, greasy after effect. It saves you some calories. And I don't like the greasy, greasy taste, honestly. So put them in on one side. I put mine at a little bit less than five minutes just because I didn't want to burn it. And then I flip them over. You may want to check the instructions of the air fryer. You probably know your air fryer better than I do. Do whatever temperature and um, timing that works best in your air fryer. I don't have a temperature rating on mine. So um, they came out a little less than five minutes on each side. Nice and golden brown. And the contents were super golden lava. I enjoyed them uh, and didn't drop them all. Good news. <laughs> Try it and let me know how it goes. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thanks, guys, for watching.